we want to use the order of operations to simplify the expression, the directions may also say evaluate the expression. We have negative or the opposite of the square of negative 5 plus 4 times negative 5. The first step in the order of operations is to simplify inside the parentheses or grouping symbols. But notice how in this expression, we cannot simplify inside the parentheses. So we go to step two, where we simplify all expressions with exponents. Here we have an exponent of two. We have the square of negative five, which means we have two factors of negative five. The square of negative five is equal to negative five times negative five, which equals positive 25. So this simplifies to negative Let's put the positive 25 in parentheses for this step. And then we have plus 4 times negative 5. Step 3, we multiply and divide from left to right, followed by step 4, where we add and subtract from left to right. We'll notice how here we have 4 times negative 5, which is equal to negative 20. So let's go ahead and write this first term as negative 25. And then we'd have plus Again, 4 times negative 5 is equal to negative 20. Now, sometimes you may also see this written as negative 25 and then just minus 20. Remember, adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive. Either way, there's only one operation left. Let's go ahead and use this form here and add. Negative 25 plus negative 20 is equal to negative 45. When adding integers with the same sign, we add their absolute values and keep the sign, which gives us negative 45. And of course, negative 25 minus 20 is also equal to negative 45. So the expression simplifies to negative 45. Let's also verify this on the graphing calculator. To do this, we enter the expression as it's given. So we have negative open parenthesis, negative five, close parenthesis, squared, plus four, open parenthesis, negative five, close parenthesis, enter. Notice how we do get negative 45, which verifies our work is correct. I hope you found this helpful.